morning, Algebra 2 pre AP friends. Today you're going to learn how to set up a system for these word problems. Um, and we're just going to set them up. We do not have to solve. So let's start with number one. A punter kicks a football from the ground at an initial velocity of 18 feet per second. The height of an approaching blocker's hand is modeled by a linear function. So that's going to be important. In the table below, write a system of equations to see if the blocker can knock down the punt. All right, so um, for, let's start with our, let's start with the, um, the punter, the football. So let's start with the, an equation for the football. And here's a little hint, a reminder of how you do the height of a projectile motion. The height would be negative 16 t squared plus the initial velocity, so 18 t, plus the initial height, and the football was kicked from the gram, so it would be plus zero. You can just leave that off if you want it. So that's the equation for the football, and now we need to write the equation for the blocker's hand, which is in this linear function table here. So in order to find our equation for a table, we'll need our slope, and our y-intercept. So one way to find our slope is just to take the y-values, so we can just do 3 minus 2, and then take the x-values, so 1 minus 2, and that gives you a negative 1, so that's going to be our, y inter uh, our slope, one, negative 1. And then we need to find our y-intercept, so you can do the y equals mx plus b equation, we just found the slope was negative 1, so y equals negative x plus b. To solve for our y-intercept, we would just have to plug in any any given point here. We can just do the first one, 1 comma 3. So 3 equals negative 1 plus b. And once I solve for b, it's 4, so our y-intercept is 4. So for our second equation, we can just we could also say h equals negative t plus 4. And that would be our system of equations that we would use to solve number one. And we just have to set it up. We are not solving. So let's try number two. Small child runs straight through the circular path of a sprinkler in a game to avoid getting wet. The path of the sprinkler has a radius of five feet from its head. If the child first enters the path of the circle at a point three feet west, and four feet south of the sp uh, sprinkler head, and then X is the path at four feet west and three feet north of the sprinkler head, what system of equations would model the path of the child and the sprinkler? So we can let the, I guess the sprinkler head be located at zero comma zero at the origin so for my sprin uh, sprinkler, we know that the radius is five feet. So if I just let the center be the at zero comma zero, then I'm just gonna write x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared, so 25. So that would be the sprinkler. And then for the um, for the child, it told you the points in which he entered. So the points were three feet west. So that would be a negative three four feet um, south. Actually, I think that's backwards because I need to start with, no, that's right, x and y goes first, so left and right, and then four feet south, so that's negative four. And then the other one is four, he exits at four feet west, so negative four and three feet north, so positive three. And now here you just have your two points and that's gonna be a linear path. And you can do what I did on example one, find the slope, and then find the y-intercept so that you can find the equation for the linear path of the child here. So if you do that, you should get y equals negative 7x minus 25. Remember, you just have to find the slope like I did on example one, and you have to find the y-intercept like I did on example one. And that gives you the second equation for number two. And now for number three, our last one. A parabola that has a vertex at negative two, negative six, and passing through the point one comma six. So we need to write uh, a quadratic for that. 
And then we need to write a, a line for uh, with a slope of 4 and a y intercept of 2. So let's do the parabola. So since you have the vertex, you want to start with vertex form. y equals a x minus h squared plus k. And we have the vertex, so I can just plug that in. y equals a x plus 2 squared minus 6. I can solve for a by plugging in the point that was given. So the 1 comma 6. 6 equals a, 1 plus 2 squared minus 6. Add 6 on both sides, so 12 equals a. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. So it looks like a should be 12 ninths, which reduces to 4 thirds. So my quadratic equation would be y equals 4 thirds x plus 2 squared minus 6. And then my line, that one's just um, simple. It says the line has a slope of 4, so y equals 4x, and a y-intercept of 2, plus 2. So that's all you expected to do. Just read the scenario and write down the system that could be used to solve, but you don't have to solve. Now you can do your homework.